Hello, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today, a highly requested video from a lot of you guys, my version of the well-known bobby pin curls hairstyle. I call it semi-heatless because these curls don't require any hot heat, like the curling iron or anything like that. But I use just warm air from the blow dryer, not hot air, only warm air. Also some hairspray, bobby pins of course, that's what this whole thing is all about. Some heat protectant spray just for the little amount of heat that we're going to be using. Some shine spray, this is my favorite shine spray in the whole wide world, I love this so much. And if you have naturally straight hair that has a hard time holding curl, you might want to apply some mousse before styling your hair, this way it holds a little bit better. All right, now come with me into my bathroom. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna part my hair into three different sections, and then I'm gonna blow dry it straight using only medium heat so that there isn't much damage, and I'm going to spray heat protectant in my hair first though. Just because I always use a heat protector if I'm going to have any kind of warmth on my hair, even if it's just going out into the sun. And this is my favorite brush to blow dry my hair straight with. And basically all that I do when I'm blow drying my hair straight is I just grab a section of my hair with my round brush and then from root to tip, I pull my hair outwards while I'm evenly distributing the heat. This way it dries straight. And once a section is dry, I go ahead and I just clip it away with the rest of the dry pieces. And some of you may wonder why my technique involves blow drying my hair straight first. I do this for a few reasons. Number one, I have long hair. And when I pin my hair up when it's wet, hours can pass by. And when I unpin my hair, it will still be wet. The second reason is because my hair is naturally curly. So if my hair is even a little bit damp, when I take it out of the curlers, my hair will curl back up and then everything will be ruined. Uh, so I just have to go ahead and blow dry it straight first. Also, when I blow dry my hair straight first, the curls just come out looking softer and shinier. If you have short hair, you can probably get away with doing this without the blow dryer because it might dry faster. And if you have straight hair, like naturally straight hair, you can probably let it air dry with or without mousse depending on your hair type. My mom has really straight hair and she has to use mousse when she does this. Okay, so my hair is about as straight as it's going to get with low heat. Um, in order for it to get really straight, I need to use high heat, and I don't wanna do that for this look, so I'm just gonna leave it. So I'm gonna section my hair off again in threes, and I'm going to start curling. So all that you do is you just take a chunk of hair, wrap it around your two fingers or three fingers, depending on how big you want the curl to be, flatten it against your head like so, and then pin it down with at least two bobby pins. And I will show you again with the piece behind it. I'm gonna go backwards from the front of my head towards the back of my head. And I'm going to take a chunk of hair, wrap it around my two fingers like so, carefully. And then I'm going to carefully, again, I said carefully, take it off my two fingers and flatten it against my head like this. And then bobby pin it at least two times. You want to make sure you have at least two bobby pins per curl because it, it could fall out while you are sleeping or you know just walking around your house. So the bigger the section of hair, the bigger the curl is going to be. The smaller the section of hair, the smaller the curl is going to be. But if you are going to do a big section of hair, I recommend using more bobby pins because the big curls are more likely to fall out during the process if you don't use enough pins. All right, and now you're just watching me wrap more sections from front to back around my fingers, pressing it against my head, pinning them down, and moving backwards. And I'm gonna do this until my head is filled with little pin curls all over the place. Okay, now once I have successfully pin curled every little section of hair on my little head, I'm going to wait. Be wait. You can either do this before bed and sleep on it, gently of course, or you can just wait it out for at least a few hours. You want your hair to hold the curl. And if you take it out too soon, the curls may fall. So I at least like to wait three to four hours before taking them out. I just walked around my house, watched some TV, did my makeup and stuff like that. And now we reveal the curls. And my makeup's done, sexy. So I like to start from the back actually when I'm taking them out. It's just my preference. You can start from wherever you want. I'm going, look at this curl. That is hot guys. I'm just gonna take the pins out and slowly drop the curl down like so. And I'm gonna kind of finger comb it just a little bit so it's not like too stuck together, you know what I mean? And this is why I blow dry it first. I mean, look how soft the curls come out, you know, when you blow dry it first and when it's dry, instead of going in wet and curly, it comes out just looking a lot better. I've tried it both ways, and this is the way that I get the best results. So I'm just gonna run my fingers through the rest of my hair, just a little bit, not too much, and then I have this shine spray right here that I actually love to use. I just 
braid on my hair lightly and it just gives it just an extra glossy finish and then after that you can go ahead and you can throw your hair up in a ponytail if you want you can hairspray it if you want it to be a firmer hold you can put it half up and half down which I really like a lot and also when you're finished at the end of the night you can pin them back up and you can wear it again for a second day if you want to and that's it I hope that you guys like my pin curls see you guys soon bye